Take up. Irritating gauge. Traffic can go for a bit Oscar departing towards Beeston and changing hard 120055. Well, we're routing initially between Packerton and Beeston Castles over towards Wrexham Industrial Estate and then continuing beyond to fly up the Dee Valley towards Clungotham. Exiting at Corwin, routing south west then to uh, basically route over Bala, Dog Ethley, to the coast, Mordak Estuary and then route north into Clambedra. That's the plan. It's a perfect day flying because they've got no wind, they've got uh, no headwind. I'm so used to flying my outbound legs, I tend to go to the west. The prevailing wind is westerly up here. So normally my outbound track speed is really slow, but today I've got 70, which is broadly my uh, my airspeed. Well, obviously it is my airspeed because it's got no wind. So it's an airspeed of about 85 miles an hour. And crossing the ground at 72 knots. Lovely, makes a big difference. Beautiful autumnal colours. Garden Park Hotel and Golf Course. So we're approaching the uh, D Valley and we've got the, uh, the two, the viaduct down here which carries the railway over the River Dee and then we've got the Pontecofulti aqueduct that takes the Clangothan Canal over the River Dee. The famous one. This magnificent feat of engineering. I've been in a canal boat going over that and it, uh, it's quite something. And it's funny when you look at it now, it looks a long way below us, but when you're actually on a canal boat going over it, it feels very exposed. It says here in an open cockpit gyrocopter at 1,400 feet. So this is the beautiful D Valley heading up towards the town of Clungothan and continuing up to Corwin, which looks pretty stunning today in the autumn sunshine. This is Castle Dinas Friend. 
That looks pretty stunning in the sunshine today. Oh, it's the town of uh, Clongothan with the um, canal boat basin down there and then the Ice Sedford building and the uh, steam train line. following the River Dean now towards Corwin. I'm running at a mere power setting around about 4,600 RPM, one up, probably burning in the region of 15 litres an hour. I'm pretty much as full as I can get. I reckon I'm about 68 litres of fuel. The official capacity is 70, but you never really quite achieve that without it spilling out the top. So comfortably I've got four and a half hours or so of endurance. My flight time into Clamp there is no wind today, it's under an hour. So I should arrive back to do anything else with half tanks. Do you have these uh, colours of the, the trees and the the ferns that are dying back to that uh, lovely deep orangey brown. I hope they're coming through on the, on the cameras together with the very uh, deep, well watered green of the grass. It looks fantastic. They're maintaining around about 65, 66 knots uh, ground speed. Power setting at 4,600, altitude 1,300. Currently heading due west. When we get to Corwin, we'll take a dog leg to the southwest and head down towards the Bordak Estuary. It's reporting 41 track miles. Ground speed 64, so it's going to take me 37 minutes. Sounds about right. At this point, we continue following the D basically, around to the left. So in a flex wing, I, I would fly this route quite differently. I would probably, well, for one thing, I'd be taking off from a different place, Liverpool, and then once clear of the zone, I'd probably climb to four, four and a half thousand feet and direct track it from the coast, just to the south of Snowdon, into uh, Clan Badger. But in the gyro, because it's flying so much lower, I've got only 1,350 feet. We fly through the valleys. This high stuff is higher than 1,350 feet, so I've got two options. I'll either climb up a fixed wing height, or do this, and the first thing I prefer flying through the valleys. The only uh, negative, of course, is the constant, where's the RAF feeling? I really need to turn my terrain alerts off on Sky Demon. It's very useful when you're flying fixed wing, but when you're flying low through the valleys in a gyro, purely visual, the FR, you do get a lot of alerts. Well, flying days don't go much better. Lovely smooth conditions, sun out, great visibility, lovely autumn colours. Street. Barmouth at the far end. But once we uh, reach the coast, we'll turn north and make the call to um, Hambenna. Hambenna is a, it's a magnificent airfield, old um, RAF training facility with three runways all in excellent condition, very long, 
in a magnificent location. Oh, this is the Bordak Estuary. So let me just double check now if I want to go on to Airfield Plate. Uh, come on, better. 11895. So I haven't heard, you wouldn't expect to hear from Climb Better, but I haven't heard because there's rock between me and them, but I haven't heard from any airborne traffic calling in, which suggests that uh, we might be the only one, only movements at this point. That's a beautiful estuary, isn't it? Barmouth at the uh, tent. sand always looks so tempting to land on, but you're never quite sure what surface you're going to find. Is it soft sand, which would just stop you like instantly? That would be good. Is it muddy sand stroke clay that would you just sink into? Or is it nice firm sand that's capable of supporting a landing? You never really know unless you've walked it. Let's see uh, Flint Peninsula over there. About the one, half past one, two o'clock position. So it's 11.38 and we've got seven minutes or so to run, 11.45. It's in 15 minutes early. It's not often that happens in a gyrocopter. Climb better traffic. Golf uniform India Romeo Oscar gyrocopter inbound, currently overhead Barmouth will join long final runway 3-3. Climb better traffic, gyrocopter, golf uniform, India Romeo Oscar is on a two mile final runway 33. Climb better traffic. 